Naga live downtown tonight with more on the controversy. Joel, are police enforcing the sit and lie laws tonight? Well, Jeff, this is the one time of year that anyone and everyone is allowed to set up on city sidewalks with their tents in anticipation for the Grand Floral Parade. But as we found out, many set up not for the parade, but to make a statement. Tents piled six deep along Southwest 4th and Alder. This is prime seating for tomorrow's Grand Floral Parade. <laughs> Inside the tents are Portland's homeless, but they're not here waiting for the floats and marching bands. Is it right for you guys to block up regular parade traffic, though, for, for people who want to see the parade? How are we blocking traffic? I mean, people still have a right to sit. This is the only time of year the city allows people to set up camp 24 hours before the parade starts. As a result, these homeless want to send a stern message to City Hall by setting up along prime seating of the parade route. Give us a legal place to sleep where we won't get arrested and we can get hours to sleep so we can wake up in the morning rested and go out and look for jobs. But not everyone agrees with the protest. Business owners along this stretch of the parade route say the demonstration is hurting Friday night business. An empty Jackson's light and healthy restaurant tonight. It affects business. It affects people walking down the street. Makes people want to go somewhere else. And police say their hands are tied. There's some heartburn with some people over some homeless groups who have set up downtown and some, you know, what are called prime viewing spots, but you know, we don't really regulate who watches from where. I mean, it's an equal opportunity parade. But for the homeless, their message goes beyond the grand floral parade. That everybody is equal. We're all humans. Back live now, the city also, the city ordinance, I should say, also states that these tents must be taken down by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. But traditionally, police have been very lax in enforcing these rules in previous years. But again, the homeless here say this is really discrimination against them. Reporting live here in downtown, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Jeff, we'll send it back to you. Oh.